And here I have a KML file oh. of um, buildings. We might just try and inspect this one. So you're going to read the KMZ? Yes. Now. There it comes. Now the interesting thing with this is that um, it's the three-dimensional buildings that are actually in lat long. So our data inspector has oh, a little right. bit of problems with them. So in fact, I'm just going to continue on. But we could have looked at them. But they are 3D buildings, and they yes. look really good in Google Earth. So again, add an identifier field, and then write them out. So that's all this workspace does. So let's take a look at what they look like once they go into PostGIS. Yeah, I'm real curious. OK, so we're going to start this translation. And this one didn't, it was actually amazingly quick, because it's actually got to do quite a lot of buildings. Having said that, of course, this could be the one <laughs> that fails miserably. <laughs> Did we ever get our buildings? Oh, yet? there so they this are. Is, this is what they looked like in KML. So they're, you know, they're buildings like this, if, if they were. If you flip them into 3D, does it look? Uh, it, it's no, the data inspector has a few problems with these ones because, because the, these are the KML ones. Right. But as soon as we get them over into our PostGIS, we'll be able to take a look at them. There it goes. So there we go. So now let's open them in PostGIS. It's not a raster, so we just open them with our regular PostGIS, and you can see I've filled in all the, the password information. Ah, okay. Here are my buildings. So this is going to bring her back. So there was, there was quite a number of them, it looked like. Uh... Mm -hmm. There's a couple of thousand. So this is them in the 2D view. So you could, if we zoom in, you can see they're all just sort of flat right. images. But if we turn them into 3D and zoom into them, we can actually fly around them. And you oh, can wow. see that we've got uh, heights and depths to there. them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, OK. Yeah. okay. So that's coming so that's... out of PostGIS. Coming right out of PostGIS, and it's no different to using the PostGIS on 2D data. Yeah. We just used it on 3D data, right. so that was the way it went.